All right, here's a solar charge controller right here. I've got a 14 volt battery right here. It's a 14 volt battery. I got a 12 volt battery in the car. Big car battery, but this is a 14 volt battery. Um, and this is the solar charge controller right here. And this is a solar panel. So what's happening is the solar panel is collecting energy from the sun. All right, check this out, hold on here. All right, so the solar panel is collecting energy from the sun. The charge controller is responsible for making sure certain charges go into the battery. So the charge controller is, con is literally charging up the battery. All right, it's keeping the battery charged. This solar panel right now, with full sun, is kicking out somewhere in the 20s. All right, it's, it's dancing around. All right, as you can see, the charge controller is bouncing back and forth right now because it's because of the solar uh, you got because I got the multimeter connected to it, so it's like taking away charges because the multimeter is like um, pulling charges away from it. But you can see it's bouncing around there. So in order for a solar panel to work, you got to have a solar panel, you got to have a charge controller, and you got to have a battery. All right, this is a 14 volt battery right here. And this is the charge controller. All right, and this is a solar panel. And also what I have here is an inverter. All right, so this inverter allows us to take this DC energy from here and turn it into AC energy. See what I'm saying? So this inverter, I can uh, clip this inverter, clip these on to the black and white right here. I mean the black and red right here. Clip these on to the black and red. And um, this will allow me to be able to plug something inside of here. All right. Speaking of the device that I created, because the device really doesn't take that much energy to run that uh, fan motor. But what happens is once I hook a device up to it, okay, once I hook a device to it, um, basically this charge controller is gonna maintain so much energy from the sun to charge up the battery, because right now it's charging up the battery. All right, see right now it's going at 12 volts, 11 volts. All right, so right now it's charging up the battery. It's telling you the battery is just about at what, um, 14 volts so the solar panel keeps the battery charged okay and then you have another area for the battery where it connects to this inverter where you're able to take this direct current and turn this direct current into alternating currents okay okay well I don't have it hooked up yet but what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect the black to the black and the red to the red all right this is going to cause this to turn on you have a fan that you can turn on so that this fan can can spin this fan can move and it'll keep this inverter cool all right um this inverter kicks out about five volts okay which is a fairly decent amount of volts all right um input is a dual usb five volts okay so input 12 volts output 110 volts 10 110 ac volts you see that so dual usb five volts it says via uh five volt usb usb but it's got an input of 12 volts and an output of 110 AC volts, which is enough to run something small. Um, and uh, actually, they say your house run on 225, but actually your house run on 110. So you could actually connect this to a 12 volt battery and it should be able to run your house. All right, seriously. So um, you can 
plug it up in an outage. You can plug it up to a refrigerator or anything else, but you're going to need a solar panel. All right. Your solar panel plays an important role. And uh, this literally is um, is how the solar panel system works. So you have a charge controller. You got your solar panel. You got a battery. This is a 14 volt battery. I have a 12 volt battery in the car. Okay. Right. Check out this big boy right here. Die hard 12 volt battery. That's what I have, I have right here. Uh, you got your negative, you got your positive there. And uh, I was going to use that, but um, I had those smaller, that smaller battery, which is a 14 volt battery, and it is fully charged. It can be used, but it needs the solar panel to keep it charged up. Okay. It does have charge because I put those wires together and there was a big old spark came from it. And I was like, dang, this boy is active. Hmm. So those of you all who are curious on how a solar panel works, this is how the solar panel works. It pulls energy from the sun, but you're going to need a battery. All right. It pulls energy from the sun and it goes into this solar charge controller. The solar charge controller sends the charge to the battery. Then the battery is hooked up to a an inverter. Okay. To take the cause of DC currents to be uh, shifted over to AC currents. So 12 volts can be shifted over to... Um, 110 AC volts. I'm not going to use this with the inverter because this inverter is designed for 12 volts and this battery pack is 14 volts, which is going to be two volts too high for the inverter. That's why I'm using the battery, uh, the car battery. All right. If it said 12 to 16 volts, I will be able to use this 14 volt battery, but I'm not able to use this 14 volt battery. Okay. So I would have to use the, um, regular 12 volt battery but this is a 500 watt inverter and i got it for that mechanism so it should be able to run that and i got to get all the wiring and all together for the connect with the solar panels so that uh it'll run um down the device and into the um the bottom of it i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna have to start from the top and put all uh, get everything hooked up on the top Get the wiring all together from the top from from about I go about 12 feet high and I bring the wiring in. And then I connect the wiring to one of those uh, angles of, of that device and connect it all the way to go. Uh, I ha already have a base already made for everything to sit on. So this is how a solar panel is uh, operated. All right. Um, tell you what. Everything has changed. You know, you see me looking directly into the sun. Usually I squinch my eyes. I didn't squinch my eyes. I'm looking directly into the sun. <laughs> I, I look directly into the eclipse too. I always do. Um, today is different. All right. Um, my daughter wanted to go bike riding after the eclipse. And I was like, okay. In the past, I was huffing and puffing riding on, those, on that bicycle. Today, I had no problem. I ain't go. I ain't go lie to you. I was huffing and puffing. I I would, I would huff and puff sometimes. Today, I had no problem. I got on that bicycle and I rode that bicycle and it was just like nothing, seriously. And I talked to my mom and I talked to brother Jaru. <laughs> we had a real good conversation, you know, talking about our people. Talking, we had a real good conversation. So, um. It's important that we um, understand that everything began with us. And what you see these beings do, they are literally mimicking us because they are artificial intelligence. Everything that they learn, they, they, they learn, they learn from us. Like I told Brother Jaru today, uh, it's not Jaru, it's Jaru, J-A-R-U, Brother Jaru. Um, I told him when I was talking to him, I said, you know, these beings are still using the same planes that we created back in the day with the analog uh, radar system. I said they haven't advanced to a digital. And I said the reason why they haven't advanced to digital is because we haven't created one that runs on digital. Everything that they use, they they, they mimic us. They, they if, if we create something, then they want to pattern, pattern after us and create us because they're artificial intelligence. I mean, come on now. You see, you see what's going on. You see the solar panel system. All right. We created the solar panel system. We taught them how to do it. Now they want to, you know, use it for a whole thing of monetary, uh, for, for, for a thing of money. But it's not about money. All right. It's not about money at all. All right. This is why everything's changing now. 
So um, we can create a plane that runs on a digital radar. But like I told Brother Jaru, I said, hey, only problem with digital radar is it's highly radioactive. Because you're talking digital now. You're talking about radio frequencies. You're talking about certain vibrations dealing with digital technology going up in the air. Which is bad for the artificial intelligence beings because their bodies are not conducive to extremely high levels of radiation. All right. So understand this. I mean, you know, you, you, you got to we got to understand that technology came from us. We can't sit up and keep doing videos or we don't have a good show today because I'm not about giving everybody shows. You know what I'm all about is telling brothers, and sisters, this is how we grow. This is how we become more powerful. This is what we need to do. And we've got a pattern after that because, you know, the only way that we change is we do something. And, and in the past few years, as brothers and sisters began making orgones and necklaces and rings and, and crowns and all kind of things changed. Because we opened up something in us that has been open in a long time. And the deeper we go into technology, the more powerful we become, right? All right. So, you know. We're in a new day, new day and age, brothers and sisters. We are in a new timeline right now. This is a brand new timeline that we're in. All right. Let's make use of it. All right. I'll catch you guys later. I got to get through this project. Much power to you all.